So Babylon's mm. influence on Ghana. First, we must identify who was Babylon. Mm. All right, because when we read the Bible, we read about ancient Babel, the ancient Babylonians, yeah. which were one of the sons of Ham. The ancient Babylonians are the Cushites today. Those were the ancient Babylon. Mm -hmm. Ancient Babylon was also located on the um, around the Iraqi uh, region, mm -hmm. also known as Mesopotamia. Right. Okay. Now, modern day Babylon, brothers and sisters, to those of you who are listening, modern day Babylon today is making reference to America. Right. The Bible calls America Babylon the Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get that. Psalm 137. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Psalms 137. So you're gonna hear you're gonna hear us mention Babylon. We're not talking about ancient Babylon, we're talking about modern day Babylon, which is America, the so-called white man. Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 137 and verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. That's E-D-O-M. When you look, when you look it up in the Bible, that was Esau. His name was changed to Edom. Edom is the so-called white race today. Go ahead. In the day of Jerusalem, who said race, race? So in the day of Jerusalem, when Babylon came to destroy Jerusalem, the ancient Babylonians, Edom, the nation of Edom, was standing on the side and they were saying, destroy it, destroy it. Go ahead. Even to the foundation thereof. Indeed, to the foundation thereof. Go ahead. O oh, daughter of Babylon. Daughter of Babylon. So it's making reference. It's called an Esau, the so-called white man, the daughter of Babylon. Go ahead. Who art to be destroyed. Who art to be destroyed. That is their manifest destiny. When Christ returns, he's going to destroy them. Okay. Go ahead. Happy, has, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall we be when we reward them the same way they rewarded us. Translate. And to you, you can kind of just enough that says in Babylon, you can see Babylon, you can see Babylon. And then can you see Babylon now? More people are not acting, are not more free. Cushion, and that's cushion, and that's in there from Ethiopia or in the. But and then just how many can you can Babylon? Yeah, and then Babylon can America, America. So how many from Babylon, Babylon? Yeah, they come once in a time. Some one hundred and thirty-seven, thirty-seven, and eight in a show. Must say, how many can you possibly do? Best say, how many be able? How best say, abrupt? Now, abrupt. I know we do many from Iso, Iso, and a Babylon. So how many best say? How many do you from Ido? Ido, and that is the Ido might be. No one is young and the Israelites are whom maybe are Babylon and they're more than they are Babylon. Okay, okay, excellent. Now let's go to Isaiah 25 and verse 7. Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. He will destroy in this mountain, and he will destroy in this mountain, this mountain. Because a lot of times when we read the word mountains, it's going into kingdoms as well. So, what kingdom are we making reference to? Babylon the Great, America. Go ahead, he will destroy. In this mountain, the face of the covering cast over all people. So God said He's going to destroy in this mountain the face of the covering, the face of the covering, the face of the covering that that's cast over all people. When you look at America, America controls all nations. Yeah. With yeah. their policies, their religions, they yeah. control all nations. Yeah. Okay, yeah. including Africa. Yeah, you yeah. can see America's influence now yeah. on Africa, yeah. especially here in Ghana. We're gonna go into we're gonna go into it a little further. Yeah. It says, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering. Go ahead. Cast over all people. Mm -hmm. The veil mm -hmm. that is spread over all nations. And the veil that is spread over all nations. This veil is going into lives. Okay. White supremacy, Western and Eastern. Uh, European imperialism and white supremacy. That's the veil that's over all nations. Okay. That's why all nations, what? They worship a white Christ. Mm -hmm. In all churches, whatever continent we go to, you see a white image of Jesus. Right. Everybody thinks though that the white man in Israel is truly the Jews. When I'm looking at the Jews, the Jews are the Israelites here. You Ghanaians, right. you are the Jews. Mm -hmm. But that veil, that covering is upon all nations and it has all nations worshiping the so-called white man, mm -hmm. not only in their religion, but you have their politics, yep. right? You have their policies. Mm -hmm. We are brainwashed people, mm -hmm. not just us over here in Africa, yeah. the blacks that was taken over there to the continent of America, yeah. all right, the Caribbean islands, mm -hmm. our brothers and sisters over there in Europe, mm -hmm. even the other nations are brainwashed by white supremacy. Okay. Read it again, read it again, Kat, yes, sir. from the top. Isaiah 25, verse 7. 
And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people mm -hmm. and the veil that is spread over all nations. Read verse 8. He will swallow up death in victory. This is now, this is talking about Christ. He will swallow up death in victory. Go ahead. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all, all faces. God said he's going to wipe away the tears from our faces. Why? Because we were the ones that were made to serve hard bondage with rigor, right? We were the ones that was made to serve in sorrow. God said he's going to wipe away our tears. Read. Wipe away all tears from all faces, mm -hmm. and the rebuke of his people shall be take shall be take shall he take away from all the earth. What is the rebuke of the people that God said he's going to take away from us? When you read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 to 68, it lists a whole bunch of curses that would befall the children of Israel for their disobedience to God's laws. God says that's called rebuke, correction, right? This is how God corrects us. You read about that in Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. God corrects us with curses, okay. okay? And many of those curses include death. Mm -hmm. So God says the time is going to come where he's going to take away the curses from off the face of the Israelites. But before he does that, we must know who the wicked is. Mm -hmm. We must know who Babylon the Great is. We must know who Edom is. That's what we're going to do today on this show. We're going to show the brothers and sisters who are listening how Babylon has a major influence on the people of Ghana. Okay? Translate. And to the yes, I have a book of Moon, a Kika Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7 and 8. And the yes, and say, Say, Babylon Cassie, a year, 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 I'm almost sure we'll be in politics. I'm the A player. I say only control be a no ma. The whole Ghana has a be a one control. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, method is a terms of God. Pentecost. You know, later this thing. I'm one head. A control. I will ask you. Am I into me any more? Na nyoma wa madia aye na kupona sio sima yusiku sio mana aye day abe yia kupai niwa ni suli ni na aye day every one muna all the and so chini kesi yao sisi ni ama abrofono na mabri ya so every kona yenyi ya hoto au asasi suli na ukai ni chumi chapter twenty eight and verse sixteen ede kwa sisi sixty eight na na ano mimi sana ni kupona jibu ya suli na aye juma au ya suli au kana hasi na ama yenyi ni yenyi hundi abro kwenye mama madia yingi na yamkomu sisi ene dawa ene yesa ni na kupona Okay, absolutely. All right, now we're in the book of Revelation, chapter 18. Let's get let's start off from verse 2. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. He cried mightily, mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is false. So now this is a prophecy of, of America, okay? Under white supremacy, white rulership. Okay. The Bible says the angel one day is going to cry and say, Babylon the Great is fallen. Go ahead. Is fallen mm -hmm. and has become the habitation of devils. Come on. And the hold of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Read verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now, why does it say for all nations? The face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. I mean, America's everywhere. Yeah. America's influence is in every country, every continent. Yeah. Now in Revelation chapter 18 and verse 3, read that again. Revelation 18, verse 3. Mm -hmm. All nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All nations must accept America's policy. That's if right. you don't dance to the tune of the white man in America, what happens? They put an embargo on you. Right. They sanction you. Yeah. That's what's going on with Ukraine and Russia right now. Right now, okay, Ukraine wants to join NATO. America's like, Russia's like, hell no. Right. So now you have two Edomite nations fighting with each other. Right. Why? Because of America's influence. Mm -hmm. That's what we read about in the Bible. Ghana is not exempt from that. We're going to show you how America has great influence on Ghana. Read that again, verse three. All nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Mm -hmm. Kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, okay? And that's just not talking about Saudi Arabia, all these other European allies. It's also going into the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. When you look at all the coup d'etats in Africa, the white man was behind many of those. Okay. Thomas, um, um, not Thomas and Corey, Kwame Kuma in the big six, yes. look what happened to him. Yeah. 
They broke all of that up. Why? Because of America's influence on Belgium, America's influence on think alike. There's many heads to this red dragon. They all think alike. Okay, Patrice Lumumba, Thomas Sankora, look at all of these coup d'etats. Who was behind it? The white man was behind it, right? Okay, that means all of the kings and governors that they had here on the continent, they were in cahoots with America. Okay. They were influenced by America and the white power structure. Read that again, verse three. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. So these nations, you want to get rich? You want to get rich? You got to lay down in bed with America. That's our policies. Mm -hmm. That explains the IMF giving $1 billion to the Ghanaian government That's right. for uh, post-COVID-19 relief. Mm -hmm. You know, Ghana is one of the only countries in Africa that require tourists to come in and be fully vaccinated. Wow. And just in 2019, they made $3.3 billion in revenue from the right of return okay. that the presidents and the kings here were allowing the um, African-Americans and those um, Af the, the brothers, Caribbeans, the people in the diaspora, mainly African-Americans, to return back to Ghana, to come back home mm -hmm. and build here. They made $3.3 billion. Right. So why, two years later, would you say, okay, now you got to be vaccinated to return to the country? Something smells fishy. Right. Sure. Something sure smells fishy. Know what I smell? I smell Babylon influence. Yes. That's what I smell. Okay. That's what I smell. Okay. We're going to go into that. So the Bible says, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through her, the abundance of her delicacies. Mm -hmm. Let's start with imagery first. First, let's get Revelation 13. Yes, Revelation 13. Okay, let's start with the image of the beast. Let's start with that. Verse 14. Yes, me? sir. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 14. Mm -hmm. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. So those miracles is going into the bomb, the yeah. atom bomb that was dropped, dropped during World War II on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, Japan. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Saying to them that dwell on the earth. Saying to them that dwell on the earth. That they should make an image. That they the should beast. make an image. The beast is just a representation of man. Right. Okay. That's all it's talking about. Now it's saying that they should make an image to the beast. So an image to what beast? The so-called white man. The same man that was dropping those atom bombs. Right. They should make an image to the beast. Go ahead. Which had the wound by a sword. And Which had it wound by the sword. It was wounded by the sword during the Dark Ages, 193 mm -hmm. AD, by a man called Septimius Severus. Right. Okay. And the, and the Severan dynasty, which was black people. Right. Who, who overthrew Rome. That was us ruling during the Dark Ages. Go ahead. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. It says, which had the wound by a sword and did live. When did they live? During the Renaissance period, the white man came back into power. Go ahead. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. How did he give life unto the image of the beast? He put it in their movies. Right. Magazines, comic books. All throughout Ghana, all you see is Yesu. Yesu. White images of Yesu. Right. Yesu yetum tum nia ibroni. Yesu is a black man. Right. He's not white. But this is the influence that Babylon has on the continent of Africa. All throughout Ghana, you see white image of Jesus. It's not biblical. They have a major influence over this whole power. That veil of covering has gone throughout the whole planet Earth and covered the true identity of who the Israelites. I'm looking at it. You're an Israelite. He's an Israelite. All throughout Ghana, black people. So why on every church, on every supermarket, on the back of every Uber, every taxi, you see a white image of Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. We are destroyed people. God says that he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Go ahead. That the image of the beast should go speak. They speak in their movies like Passion of the Christ with Mel Gibson. Go ahead. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast. And when our forefathers did not want to worship the white man in this image. Should be killed. 
Look what, what they were doing to the Ashanti kings, like mm -hmm. Pepe the first. Yeah. They took him and they sent him to Seshless Island right there, the Seshless Island. Yeah. Okay, with us in the diaspora, when we didn't want to worship white man Jesus and follow modern Christianity, they killed us. The Bible said, read that last part. Yes, sir. And as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. God says those that would not worship the image of the beast mm -hmm. should be killed, should be killed. Read verse. Go ahead. I just wanted to say this. Mm -hmm. When it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, you got to understand the magnitude of that. What that means is when you read the word of God, you mm -hmm. see the image of the beast. Okay. They've given this false image, this white image of Jesus Christ, the life of the actual Jesus. Mm -hmm. So now when you read the Bible and you close your eyes, when you see these words, you're not thinking of a black man from the tribe of Judah, yeah. your brother. You're looking, you're thinking about a Caucasian man. And with that mindset is why people are destroyed all over the world. Yes, that's why in the book of Timothy, it said it's seared in our mind. Mm -hmm. This thing is seared in our mind. Mm -hmm. Just like you ever have a nice crispy white shirt. Mm -hmm. And then you take you iron in your white shirt, you mm -hmm. leave that iron on it for too long. What happened? Mm -hmm. What happened? It destroyed. It gets it's destroyed. Right. It gets burnt. Yeah. You, yeah, you right. can't fix right. it. Right. Yeah. A lot of our brothers and sisters right here in Ghana and scattered throughout the diaspora, yeah. this Bible is not going to be able to fix them. Yeah. A lot of them love the image of the beast. Yeah. That's why a lot of them are going to get put to death. A lot of Adam is going to die. Mm. Read verse 16. Yes, small, oh, small and great. Small and great nations. Mm. God is considered a small, small nation. nation. Go ahead. Rich and poor. Rich and poor nations. God, God is considered a poor nation. Right. That's why you got to go to the IMF and borrow a billion dollars. Right. The continent of Africa is considered poor sure. because Ghana should be able to go to Nigeria, Tanzania, and other rich countries in Africa and borrow money from them. But what happens? We have to run to the so-called white power structures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, mm -hmm. free and bond. Free and bond nations. Go ahead. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. You know what that mark is? That mark is the image of the beast. Mm -hmm. Not only the image, but its policies, its philosophies, Everything that this, this so-called white man pushed is considered the mark of the beast. You take it in your right hand because you support it. Right. That's why there's images of Yesu everywhere. That's why all these churches still exist today. Mm -hmm. That's why they're trying to push LGBTQ here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. That's why they have Plant Parenthood in Ghana. Mm -hmm. That's why they have Ghana Slay Queens mm -hmm. that are traveling to um, Dubai to get shitted on. Why? Because you have taken the mark of the beast with your right hand and, and in their forehead. And it's in your mind and you can't get it out. That's what the Bible says. Okay.
Okay, let's get wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. Since we're talking about the image of the beast, watch this. Okay. The image of the beast, brothers and sisters who are listening to this radio show, the image of the beast is the so-called white man. Okay. okay, the so-called white man in his fake image of Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and I want verse 15. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 15. Who a father afflicted with his child soon taken away. Now, when you when you go into the history, this is going into Tammuz and so forth, but it could also be used for the image of the beast, yeah. the white image of Jesus Christ. Because the white image of Jesus Christ, the, the image that they use mm -hmm. is a man called Cesare Borgia. He was the son of Alexander the Sixth of Rome. He was a pope. Okay. He was a he was a well-known homosexual. He was a murderer. And he practiced incest. Okay. He slept with his sister, Lucretia Borgia. Mm. Okay? So his father commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to paint his son as the new Christ. When? Mm. During the Renaissance period. Mm. Watch this. Verse 15. Verse 15. For a father afflicted with an untimely mourning, when he had made an image of his child soon taken away. The image of his child was Cesare Borgia as the new Christ. Go ahead. Now honor him as a God. Now all over Africa, you honor him as a God. Amen. There's Yesu Ibromi everywhere. Mm -hmm. But Yesu is a black man. Mm -hmm. Yesu is a black man, not white. All nations honor him as a God. Read on. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, we now honor him as a God. Which was then a dead man. Because Cesar Borgia. Long time ago. Go ahead. And delivered to those. Yes, we brought him. Yes, we brought him. Yes, was a black man. Yes, was not a white man. Ceremonies and you sacrifice unto him. Go ahead. Verse 16. Custom. What ungodly custom? Christmas. Right. Yes, they have a heavy influence on God. Yeah, sure. If you are celebrating Christmas and keeping Easter, yes, the white man has influenced you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom, go ahead, grown strong. Mm -hmm was kept as a law. Now you keep it as law. Mm -hmm. You keep it as law. Go ahead. And graven images. And what? Graven images. Graven images. Mm -hmm. Graven images that you make with your own hands. Yeah. All throughout Ghana, I see statues of white man Jesus. Yeah. Hey, on the front of when you walk into this radio station, you have two posters in the front. You have white Jesus on the left and you have white Moses on the right. Mm -hmm. Babylon the Great has heavily influenced you here in Ghana. Go ahead was kept as a law. Engraving images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. And our graven images are have are worshipped by the commandments of kings. What kings? The white power structure. Okay. Whether it's Western or Eastern imperialism. Jump back to the earlier chapter. Get me um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, and get me um, start at verse 10. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 10. But miserable are they and in dead things is their hope. Mm -hmm. We call them God. So we call them God, and we're miserable. God says we're miserable because in dead things, there are hope. What is the dead things? These images. Right. They don't exist. It's idolatry. It's idolatry. Read. Who call them gods, which are the works of men's hands. And they are the works of men's hands. If I had the power, I'll go through all throughout God. I'll destroy all those images. Right. You don't know how much is burning inside of me to take those idols and destroy them. Mm. But I have to refrain because I don't want to get arrested and locked up and thrown in jail. And then they're going to try to feed me bush meat right, while right. I'm in prison. Right. So I try to refrain from that. First, we got to destroy it from the minds of the people. Go ahead. Gold and silver. Gold and silver. Go ahead. To show art in mm -hmm. and resemblance of beasts or a stone good for nothing. For a stone good for nothing. Go ahead. The work of an ancient hand. The work of an ancient hand. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. Or made it like some vile beast. They made it like some vile beast. They made it like some vile beast. Why? Because you got the so the vile beast. The main vile beast is the so-called white man, the two-legged dog. Right. 
The same beast. Remember what it said in Revelation? The image of the beast, of the beast. Mm -hmm. God says, or made it like some vile beast. Or made it like some vile beast, laying it over with vermilion. Vermilion is a red texture. I'm saying that for a reason. Watch this. Go ahead. And with paint, coloring it red. And with paint, you color it red. Yeah. What is the color of the so-called white man? Red, right. different shades of red, a light, light pink to a dark, dark red. Mm -hmm. You make it red. You make it red. All these images of Yesu throughout Ghana, the image of the beast that you got up, they're all red. Because the white man, the white man don't look like this page right here. The white man don't look like this paper. He's different shades of red. Read that again, verse 14. Or made it like, uh, like some vile beast, mm -hmm. laying it over with vermilion mm -hmm. and with paint. Coloring it red mm -hmm. and covering every spot therein. And you cover every spot therein. You know why it says that? Give me Job chapter 9, verse 24. We're going to come right back, back to that. Okay. Why does it say that? Because during the dark ages, all of our forefathers knew the real image of Jesus Christ. That's right. Prior to the dark ages, there was no white images of Jesus anywhere. Just look at the Roman catacombs. Black Jesus, black disciples, black Paul, black Mary. Black resurrection, black God. Yesu yetuntu, ibroni. It wasn't. It didn't exist mm -hmm. until now. That's how we know the Babylon influence right here on the continent of Ghana. Watch this. Go ahead. Job chapter nine verse twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's yeah. the wicked? The the sons and daughters of. Babylon the great, the so-called white man. Go ahead. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. How does he cover the faces? Hold that. Go back. So wisdom of Solomon 14 and um 13 and verse 14. Go ahead. Solomon 13, verse 14. Or made it like some vile beast, laying it over with vermilion and with paint, coloring it red. He covered the faces of the judges thereof with his own face, his red face. He whitewashed our images and made it a light, light, light red to make it look like him, yep. to make it look like the so-called white man. Go ahead. Coloring it red and covering every spot there. Every is. spot. Every spot therein. But thank God to the power of God, he wasn't able to destroy all of our images during the dark ages. Go back to Job 9, verse 24. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Mm -hmm. The earth is given into the hand of the weak. Mm -hmm. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Mm -hmm. If not, where? And who is he? If it's not the so-called white man, where in, and who is he? Right. He's the devil. He's the man that covered the faces of the judges thereof. Right. He made God white, Jesus white, the angels white, the disciples white, and the Jews white. That's right. But they're not white. Mm. They are black. Yeah. God is saying, if it's not the so-called white man, where and who is he? Mm. Okay? Jump back to wisdom of Solomon. You wanted to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to say Go that ahead. goes back to your point that you brought out in Revelation 13 about the image of the beast. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Mm -hmm. Our people in Ghana have never read a scripture that Jesus Christ is a white man. Yeah. Yet you take your hand and you go to your local shops and you buy white. That's a mark that's on your forehead and that's in your hand. You act out. <laughs>
that it might not fall, knowing that it was unable to help itself. Come on. For it is an image. For it is an image. What image? The image of the beast. Read on. And have need of help. And the image, you got to help the image. The image can't help you. The image can't carry itself. That's right. You got to carry that image and set it in a wall and fasten it. Go ahead. Then make it eat prayer for his good. And you bow down before this image. White. Yes, we brony. Please give me food to eat. Please, I am poor. Please put some CDs in my hand. We are crazy. Mm. We are crazy. Yeah. Go ahead. Then make it eat prayer for his goods, mm. for his wife and children. Mm. And it's not ashamed to speak to that which have no life. And we're not ashamed to put those posters on the back of our cars. Yeah. You're not ashamed to put those posters on the front of this radio station. We're not ashamed to bow down to these images in the Catholic and Christian church. Go ahead. For, for, for help, he calls upon that which is weak. For even for health, you're sick. Oh, Yesu, Ibroni, Yesu, Ibroni, please get rid of this COVID. Please get rid of this Ebola. We are some sick people. Go ahead. For health, he calls upon that which is weak. Mm -hmm. For life, pray unto that which is dead. Come on. For aid, humbly beseech it that which has least means to help. Go ahead. And for a good journey, he asketh of that which cannot set a foot forward. You ever see the brothers and sisters coming mm -hmm. flying from Accra? Back to the States, they're on the plane, and before the plane takes over, they got those images, those images, those white images on it that they take, they take it, they kiss it, yeah. they rub on it, they take out a white image of Jesus and kiss it. I seen that with my own eyes. Right. So I could speak on it. Mm -hmm. Our people is bugged the hell out. We're crazy, we're sodish. Mm -hmm. That's Babylon's influence on Ghana. Go ahead. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. And for gaining and getting. And for gaining and getting, you want CDs, you want food, you want water. Go ahead. And for good success of his hands. Mm -hmm. Ask it the ability to do of him mm -hmm. that is most unable to do anything. You hear that? That's yeah. our people. We are some sodish children. It says, and for gaining and getting and for good success of his hands, ask it ability to do of him that is most unable to do anything. Damn. That's that image of the beast. You know why? Let me show you why. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. I'm going to show you this. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 48. Mm -hmm. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. God says we're going to serve our enemies, my brother. Mm -hmm. We will serve them when we were colonized and when we were enslaved. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Mm -hmm. In hunger. In hunger, we had to serve our enemies. And in thirst. Thirst, you had to serve your enemies. Mm -hmm. And in nakedness. Put clothes on your body, you had to serve your enemies. Go ahead. And in one of all things. Whatever you want. You want to learn about Jesus? You want to learn about Yesu? You got to go to who? You had to go to the colonizer. You had to go to Babylon. Mm -hmm. You had to go to the so-called white man. Whatever you wanted, you had to go to him. God said in the want of all things. It's the same thing our forefather Solomon said. Right here in chapter 13, verse 19, he says, and for gaining and getting, and for good success of his hand, asketh ability to do of him that is most unable to do anything. We're supposed to go to the Father. We're supposed to go to the Father in the want of all things, not this so-called white man, but because of our disobedience, God put them over us. Mm. Now God says, in the want of all things, you got to go to your enemies. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst, and in nakedness, mm -hmm. and in wants of all things. Mm -hmm. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. They put yokes of iron on our necks, boy. Until he have destroyed When thee. we were thoroughly destroyed and we realized in the gaining and getting, we got to worship his idols and worship his image, he said, okay, take the yokes of iron off. Okay. Those of us who rebelled on this side, what happened to us? You were sent to Seshless Island mm -hmm. as slaves, mm -hmm. colonized. Okay, get me verse, um, um, no, no, finish that, finish that, and then jump to 41 to 43. Oh, uh, you want to do uh, Deuteronomy 48, the last part again? Okay, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until, until he have destroyed, destroyed thee. thee. Now get me 41 to 43. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 41. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, mm -hmm. for they shall go into captivity. So we had sons and daughters, and they went into captivity. Go ahead. Verse 42, mm -hmm. all thy trees and fruit verse, of, of verse, verse 41, 41, 43, verse 43, the stranger that is within thee mm -hmm. shall get up above thee very high. Come on. And thou shall come down very low. So we came down very low. Mm -hmm. That's why in Revelation chapter 18, let's get 
that once more. Revelation chapter 13. I'm sorry, not 18. Get me um 16. verse 16. Watch this. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Cause it all, both small and great. That's, this is how it became a small nation. God says we shall get down very low. Go ahead. Rich and poor. This is how it became a poor nation. God says we shall get down very low. Go ahead. Free and bond. This is how it became a bond nation. We shall get down very low. Go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. Mm -hmm. The stranger that is within thee mm -hmm. shall get up above thee very high. Mm -hmm. Thou shall come down very low. Go ahead. He shall lend to thee. He shall what? He shall lend to thee. Who did we have to go for for $1 billion in mm -hmm. COVID-19 recovery? Mm -hmm. The IMF. Who runs the IMF? The so-called white man mm -hmm. and the world banks. That's right. We have to go to, to, to them. That's what God says. He shall lend to thee, and they shall what? And thou shalt not lend to him. And thou shalt not lend to him. Okay? That is biblical prophecy. This is Babylon's influence on America. Go to Revelation 13 and give me 16 again. 13, 16, and 17 now. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And he calls it both. He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor. Free and bond mm -hmm. to receive a mark in their forehead, in their right hand, or in their forehead. Mm -hmm. And he that had the mark or the name of the beast mm -hmm. or the number of his name. So, right there in verse 17, it says, And that no man might buy or sell. This is talking about big trade. Mm -hmm. Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Does Ghana have the mark of the beast? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's why there's white images everywhere. That's why you have to what? You have to say, you know what? All the people that are coming into Ghana get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. But just a couple of years ago, you made 3.3 billion in the right of return. Right. Now, the children of the diaspora, your own brothers have to be vaccinated. Why? Because America dictates what you do here. That's right. yeah. Believe it or not, America dictates what you do here in Ghana. Yeah. Read verse 17 again. Verse 17, mm -hmm. that no man might buy or sell, mm -hmm. save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So do you have the mark of the beast here? Absolutely. Absolutely. God sent his messages here to erase that mark of the beast from your hands and your head. All right, finish Deuteronomy 28, verse 43. Let's finish that. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. Mm -hmm. The stranger that is within thee mm -hmm. shall get up above thee very high. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt come down very low. Mm -hmm. He shall lend to thee. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not lend to him. Mm -hmm. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. You see, we fell to the bottom. We became the tail. That's what God says. Go ahead, translate. <laughs>
Now we have brothers and sisters who know what the Bible says. They know that Christ is a black man, yeah, sure. but they refuse to teach it, just like these pastors. Yeah. Why? Because Babylon's influence on them. Mm. They're scared. A lot of them don't want to lose their members in their congregation, so they want to dance. They want to continue to dance to the tune of America. Let me show you something. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and get me uh, verse 19. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 19. Mm -hmm. Where he peradventure, willing to please one in authority. These pastors, they want to please the so-called white man. Mm -hmm. Because the white man is the one in authority, right? Mm -hmm. That's why God said in Job 9, verse 24, um, the, um, the wicked, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So they want to please them. That's why they don't want to tear down these images. They don't want to take off these pictures. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For all, for all his skill to make the resemblance of the best fashion. Go ahead. And so the multitude of the Lord, by the grace of the work, mm -hmm. took him now for a God. Now you take the white man for a God. But he's just a man. Yeah. He's just a beast. Yeah. Go ahead. Which a little before was but honored as a man. Because a long time ago, during the Renaissance period, Cesar Borgia was just a man. He wasn't a God. But we put this man up as God. Right. Why? Because he put himself up as God. And he broke us in slavery, broke us in colonization. Read on. And this was an occasion to deceive the world. Has the whole world been deceived? Yeah. Yes. That's why we read it in Isaiah. It said that veil of covering that went throughout the whole world world in revelation chapter 18 it said what all nations have drunk of the wine of a fornication yeah. read verse 21 again verse 21 this was an occasion to deceive the world mm -hmm. for men serving either calamity or tyranny mm -hmm. did ascribe unto stones and stocks those are the idols go ahead the incommunicable name the incommunicable the incommunicable name the white man is the devil that the bible speaks of. Right. i hope you brothers sisters wake up and smell the scriptures get me revelation go back to revelation um to verse four, um 14. revelation 13. um yes get me no i want uh verse 14 and let me get it let me get it let me get it revelation chapter 14 verse 9. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Mm -hmm. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, mm -hmm. Any man worship the beast and his image, mm -hmm. and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Mm -hmm. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, mm -hmm. which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire 
and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So if we continue to let Babylon the Great dictate what goes on here in Ghana, which is sin, yeah. which is going to lead you to sin, God says you're going to what? You're going to drink of the wrath of, you're going to drink the cup of her wrath. Drink the wine of the wrath of God, mm -hmm. which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Hmm. The presence of the holy angels and the presence of the Lamb. That is for all, that's for all who worship the image of the beast. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day nor night. Mm. For what you hear that? Right. That is the conclusion. Let's take some calls. I want to hear from you, Pastor. Dear Telephone Lines not on. If you want to ask us over so with your little idea that you saw, lines not activated now. 0 to 2 2 2 9 5 4 7 0. 0 to 2 2 2 9 5 4 7 1. 0 to 2 2 2 9 5 4 7 0. 0 to 2 2 2 9 5 4 7 1. And now say 0 5 5 3 3 5 6 1. Thank you so much. Uh, this one saying uh, there was a time God revealed Himself to her, and uh, He opened up Him um, His in His hands, and He sees that God is uh, more Jesus Christ was uh, more black, as you are saying. So she confirmed that one that Jesus Christ is black. Good. Okay. So another call I see. Good afternoon. Afternoon, Yes, sir. What did you say, Okay, you Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. I don't like you. I don't like you. I Thank you so much. This is also saying uh, because of uh, the truth that uh, the Rastafarians like, we see the Rigi icons like Bob Marley and you know, uh, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. like Dubai, the, song, the type of the song that they are, um, they are giving out, it is against the white people because they know that they have been enslaved us. They have, I mean, I hope you get it. Yeah. It, yeah. Guess what? That's prophecy. Yeah. Give me Genesis chapter 49. Okay, I'm coming. I have it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, call up. Yeah, what's up for? Yeah, what's up for? Line is low. I'm a power credit ladder. Until. That's right. Yeah, it's very, very fast. <laughs> Oh yeah, black man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we'll be in your channel. But Captain said the coconut. 
Okay, yo. Okay, go on. Oh, you be me. Oh, you be me. Uh huh. Yes. Perfect. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Money. But so much that is time. Thank you, Chancellor. I'm from uh, Atabasi. I'm from Kosata. I'm quite. Okay, that's right. Thank you so much. Okay, that's right. Thank you so much. Okay, Dickie, there's a question to you. He's asking where Christianity was derived from. Modern day Christianity? Modern day Christianity was derived from the so called white man. Okay. The reason we say that, mm -hmm. they teach everything contrary to the Bible. Okay. Um, however, we did have the Mosaic laws with us on okay. the continent of Africa, okay. but the Christianity that we follow today, we so earnestly follow, that was by our oppressors. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll just say your answer now. Um, Okay, that's right. So also wait to me. Okay, I have another call. I have two. Wow. Okay. Um. Also, Master. Okay. Time to crash on. A time to ask my answer. Time to pause. Okay. Um. So, um. Uh, Bikin, I would like to pause it here. Then we continue next week. You do you yes, have sir. something to say? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Brothers and sisters, visit us at www.israelunite.org. You can also follow us at IUIC Ghana on Facebook and IUIC Ghana on YouTube. Tomorrow we congregate on the Sabbath at 12 p.m. onward at IPT. That's 12 p.m. onward at IPT. Okay. And um, hopefully, brothers and sisters, got something out of today's show. All right, Kevin, get a lot of you to say something. Uh, I'll, I'll pray to the Most High God. Um, continue to follow us on our social media, IUIC Ghana on Facebook. You can also Contact us via our website, www.israelunite.org, israelunite.org. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.